Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Are you ready for these dimensions of God this year? Three keys to commanding signs and wonders. This is very important. This is where your, your own role comes in. There must be a part that shows you your own contribution. Three keys. Number one, the first key, if you want to truly experience and command signs and wonders, is intimacy with God. The first key, non-negotiable intimacy with God through prayers through the study of the word and through worship listen during my retreat the Lord spoke to me and said that believers must restore the altar of worship we have restored the altar of prayer but we have not restored the altar of personal worship very few believers understand the mystery and the power of prayer and we preachers are the ones who have caused it. We have made it look like if you are praying and I'm worshipping. And I can't hear any noise from your own end. You are wasting God's time. So we, we pride ourselves in the dissipation of energy for a long time. To mean that that is necessarily a sign of making spiritual contact. No sir. The ministry of personal worship. In church we praise God. In church we worship God. But most people have been robbed of the revelation of intimacy through worship. There is intimacy through prayer. There is intimacy through encounter with the word. But there is intimacy through worship. There is no one man on earth that works mightily under the influence of the anointing. That does not understand the mystery of the altar of worship intimacy with God please hear me God is not a magician this is the year you must engage in being close to God this Christianity of today I am close to God tomorrow I'm not serious with God I say God is not you know that I don't have a job you must make up your mind this year that Lord it is me and you not just me and your power alone intimacy with God there are people who have been in church maybe some koinonia for years they don't know God they don't know anything about God where are you going? at a go church and when you finish where are you coming from? from service say you mean you're a worker in that church that's yes, all we join honestly at least they do have small small that statement is an ungodly statement this is the year you will bury that statement in the name of Jesus Christ the average believer listen to me the average believer should be on fire for God not for the purpose of ministry for your own good let me tell you the truth the deeper and thicker the darkness the more you must define where you stand with God there is no vagueness no you know they have this sarcasm towards believers that the more we are outspoken about our love for God the more we fail in life is that true so this becomes the basis for being ashamed when they are talking of poor people they say this this poor guy who loves God when they are talking about certain so many of us don't want to show our zeal and passion we love God, but when you come where there are other people, you just say, ah, me, I don't overdo. God knows I do my thing. Even God knows that. And then we find all kinds of scriptures in the Bible that says, don't know, be over righteous. And you say, prove this. That, some of those things are, are proofs of people who don't want to know God. Is that true? If I come to Pastor Alpha's house, listen, there are certain rooms in that house I will never have access to until I get to a depth of relationship.
that qualifies me to enter there is that true i may sit in the parlor there forever but there are times that i may know him and we may want to discuss something very secret how many of you have seen parents or loved ones or some of you when you want to discuss some serious issues you just out of five people you call only one and then the person enters and you even in the bedroom you sit at the side that the window is outside and you are discussing critical matters the secret things of the Lord is with them that fear him it's not just being afraid priority please let me drum it brothers and sisters that if you want to experience signs and wonders that will last you must work on your relationship with Jesus Christ I don't doubt that many of us are born again but I don't see the priority of the kingdom when you are intimate with God it will show you've not you read your Bible Friday to Friday you are not intimate with God don't say it does not matter prayer until you hear something on your zinc then you stand up play one coin on your message altar of prayer and back it up with one fearful tongues for 10 minutes and lie down you are not walking in faith he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 to the end that men ought always 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 to pray listen this year I know the kind of people Satan is looking for lukewarm and careless Christians to to take like a prey and destroy their lives take it from me do you know the Lord gave me a revelation during my retreat that surprised me he said son there are many people I wanted to bless but that they, their prayer life cannot sustain the attack that will come on account of that level of blessing so I help them by withholding it listen this is true that there are sat every dimension of glory comes with a dimension of attack and much more than your gift God looks at your spiritual life if I give this guy 10 million naira and the spirits that eat up people comes, does he have the capacity to sustain it? It's not the issue of God, give me, God, give me. The Bible says God will never allow any temptation to be greater than us. And part of the way is withholding certain blessings. When God told me that thing, I started praying for myself first. I said, only God knows what dimension I would have entered that God withheld because my spiritual life had not gotten to that level. Listen, if you are lukewarm, be sure of experiencing triumph and remaining there alone. But if it is signs and wonders, please upgrade your passion. Upgrade your zest for God. Not come to the house of God today, come two months later when there is problem. No, no. The first price are we blessed intimacy with God genuine intimacy create a routine of prayer create a routine of studying the word create a routine of worship those of you that God has blessed with televisions turn them into preachers not entertainment platforms Am I, am I against watching films? You, you know my position. I'm, I don't, I'm not against it. You can watch your movie, whether Western or Nigerian or whatever, but let me tell you the truth. If you really want to press for signs and wonders, you better get a flash drive and put messages and worship songs. Slot it at the back of your TV. That sometimes you can be in your room or your house or wherever and let that sound of worship just arise. You are, you are creating a climate for God. This is the price for signs and wonders. Hallelujah. If in your group of friends, you are the most spiritual, it's a sign something is wrong with you. Because the day your spiritual life is down and you have no one to pick you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Listen, especially for those of us in ministry, this year schedule a strong backup system a strong backup system that while you preach and dispense the word of God 
there must be a system not just during retreat not just during retreat it must be a daily system that replenishes you otherwise you may not make the journey in the level of strength that you want is God speaking to us intimacy with God does intimacy with God pay my goodness <laughs> my goodness Acts chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for money there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for power there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for fame no sir anything his presence cannot give you is not available now when they saw the boldness of Peter listen and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled because ignorant and unlearned people should not be commanding that kind of result it says and they took knowledge of them what was their secret that they had been with that's the secret to their boldness they said it's true we didn't have the opportunity to be educated we cannot brag on education but i have been with him listen when you truly are with him it will show in your life you don't have to say see me no there is an aura there is a fragrance that his presence carries may you carry that presence this year listen i can know in a second that a man is intimate with god it's not by prayer it's not by having a husky voice there is a presence like a perfume it's a signature of the secret place I can hear you speak and I know that this is not your revelation. You just read something online and you are preaching. I can hear you speak and I know that mm -mm, this guy, you may even work miracles. But brothers and sisters, covet presence, covet presence, covet presence. Has nothing to do with being a preacher. Covet the presence of God. Consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills my life consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills the You are transacting business but there is such a presence a man has been oppressed cannot sleep in the night but because you carry a heavy dimension of the presence that person will walk away and lie down and find out that that night he slept with no oppression you didn't pray you introduced an atmosphere covert presence as a man of god you don't carry presence you are not a preacher you are not a preacher a preacher is not just one who announces a preacher is one who brings his climate his atmosphere into a place are we together please let me tell you this take it from me if you want God to use you please I can beg you don't give up the presence of God for anything in your life don't give up the presence of God not for money not for titles pray and say Lord grant me the grace to be addicted to your presence lift your voice and pray one minute Lord I want to be addicted to your presence hmm. is where I find strength it's where I find courage <laughs> your presence my place of refuge my place of ideas that's where I receive inspiration that's where I experience the ministry of the comforter in your presence that's where I receive strength that's where I receive strategies hallelujah some of the ideas you see by God's grace that we run this ministry with came in the secret place the presence 
Listen, let me teach you something about having time with God. Take it easy, Mike. There are times learn to be alone. Some of us, our lives are too busy to know God. Learn to walk around in your room alone. You know the way you are talking with somebody. I do that a lot. I'm just walking and talking, Lord. You know, the other day we were talking about this. Thank you, Jesus. I can be walking like that for hours. I'm not necessarily praying like generating energy. There are times for that. But this is a love affair. I'm talking with God. Thank you, Jesus. And sometimes that mighty presence comes. Sometimes I cannot even stand. It is the effulgence of that presence that we bring to the stage. There are many presenceless preachers, presenceless prayer coordinators, revelation hackers who pack revelation after revelation, couple it together and hope that it will give power. God is not a herbalist. Please look, seek his presence. Without God's presence, what do I have to offer you? Because you see, it's not everything you teach people that will be new. It is the presence that makes it fresh. Presence. You want signs and wonders in your life? Please make out time for God's presence. I want you to identify the things that represent distractions in your life and deal with them this year. They may not be bad, but they are weights. Some of us is noise making. Noise making is what has evicted the presence of God in your life. Talkativeness. Choo, 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 choo. Take that time to the secret place. Some of us need to coordinate our mornings properly. Some of us is careless time. You are a young man, you wake up 11 o'clock every day. You won't know God, my brother. You have missed a rich pie of the day to know God. Many of us never practice personal vigils. You can do church vigils and claim to a personal when you are alone with God. Ah. The excellency and the richness and the freshness of power that is gotten in his presence. You are there spending time with God and God is winning battles for you. You finish from that presence and come out and you meet testimonies lined up like an assembly. Testimony after testimony. Many of us don't know how to win battles. When men insult you, you have nowhere to run to. Create similitudes of altars, not by building monuments, but find exact locations. I've taught you the law of consistency. Don't meet with God just anywhere. You wouldn't know him that way. No. God is obsessed with location. Carve out a place that becomes your place with you and God. If you don't have access to a house or a room, why don't you find a location somewhere? Let's, let's be honest with ourselves and be serious and make this thing work this year. Seek his face. And the effulgence of his glory will rub off on you. And my brother, my sister, your life will be a compendium of signs and wonders. Number two, the second key to commanding signs and wonders is faith. 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 What is faith? Conviction plus obedience. Faith is not conviction alone. That's believing. Faith. Is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and what his word has said you want to experience signs and wonders you must believe God this year John 11 verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 signs and wonders Let's read it together. One to read. Jesus said unto her, Uh huh. Say it I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou should see the glory of God. The glory of God are for those who believe God. You must work on your conviction. The foundation of Bible faith is understanding, 
it is understanding that creates conviction you need faith to command signs and wonders you need to believe in God listen listen look at me many believers don't get miracles in their lives because we live in a society where cynicism sells where doubt sells is that true we are always thinking what if it's a lie what if it never happened what if this person were lying you better come to a point this way where you believe that everything god says he would do he will do is that true so if we say god is going to bless sam come sam that god is going to bless you it's up to you to choose to believe it or just say amen and then go back after koinonia and talk as if you don't know jesus christ is that not what people do after service they jump and shout and you see them praying then they start laughing at themselves when they are going back home as if they were acting bros i saw you praying as if that prayer is acting and then the person feels ashamed for being serious with the prayer why are we like this we are in church we hear the word and we believe it we get back home and talk rubbish and nonsense ungodly things did you hear that lady's testimony the way i was looking at her eyes i said she was lying what is your business if she was lying release your faith and say it. i can get the truth of that testimony instead of saying it cannot happen i believe god to move this ministry to a new dimension i believe god to move my life to a new dimension the mockers will always bury their head while god keeps performing signs on those who believe the bible says blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them unto her this is a personal affair there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken i believe it i believe it that lord if you are going to bless me if you want to lift up my life and change my story i stand with you believing like abraham the devil will call me with his rubbish as usual and say look i hope you know that there are many people who are being owed salary and arrears how do you want to build the house this year and then a scripture fires out of you they got not the land in possession by their own hands neither did their sword save them are you hearing what i'm saying yes you look at yourself oh i'm 40 years will any man really like me and god says just wait and let me surprise you and god will bring a brother as if he was charm and just come and say sister let's go and see your parents say if you are playing don't play say, how can i be playing do i look like i'm playing let's let's go and see your parents and while the rest are laughing at you in three months you are settled and you keep watching their lives and they say ah this bad girl and god says never call unclean what i have called clean while you are there talking nonsense god is lifting people hallelujah brothers and sisters there are people today you are paying their transport that they will be the ones sponsoring people by the end of this year as young people i'm not talking of some visions in 10 years it is unto you in this kingdom not according to the preacher's words according to your faith i believe god i believe god i believe him i believe him so you have an assignment to build your faith faith does not grow by itself please listen you don't grow just by sitting down you eat correct you eat you don't ask the food which part of my body are you going to don't worry your own is continue having access to the food and you'll see that you're growing that's how your faith grows listen let me tell you this is the year i want to encourage you avoid naysayers avoid faith killers you finish believing god and you finish three days dry over an issue and you come and meet a brother and he laughs hey, open that in it let's look at you you said you are stupid this is what you are fasting about and they kill your faith we have been taught that there are some things god cannot do just believe god and then when you perish we can come and comfort you but not before listen i want you to enlarge your faith for big things this year don't just sit down and say god do this no lord i believe you 
work on my faith I'm ready to keep bringing you the word of God that will keep building your faith. There are so many things we are going to learn this year. But that God will grant us grace to believe it. Hold on, Mike. Listen. Please, I want you, those listening inside, outside, online, let us stop double-mindedness. In church, this is what I believe. We call it church mind. I don't know where that thing is, is in Bible. Then after you, you come out of church, we now have the secular, satanic, carnal, and ungodly mind that has never worked. Why change your convictions? It's better for me to know you don't even believe this aspect. It will help me to encourage you than to join those who, you are there, you don't believe it, but you are joining the group of people with convictions. You will find out that you will never get the result. Say, I receive grace to believe God. Say it again, I receive grace to believe God. And the key is to meditate on his word. You don't meditate on newspapers and cynical statements online. You don't meditate on gist. We were having a discussion when I went home to see my parents. Maybe let me just add it a little and we're discussing um, the need for God to help ladies in saloons. Saloon is one place that is a wonderful place for making hair, but it is uh, it's, it's, a, it's a chamber that can program unbelief. Now please, with all due respect to hairstylists, I love you. Please, may God bring members to your saloon. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Listen, this is the first service. It's too early to be laughing anyhow. This is the, I'm establishing the word. There are many people hmm, who expose themselves to atmospheres that are antichrist. That is the real devil you should cast. Not just the one around in your village that has left sins. Atmospheres have been creating room for Satan. Must you visit the friends? If you don't have anything godly and serious to discuss, must you visit them? You can send them a text. How are you? It's been a while. Just to check up on you. God bless you. There are people on their way to church. Someone just holds them back. And then they don't come. The person has robbed you of an opportunity to learn. Say, I will work on my faith. Sam, if I gave you a property... Will you take care of the property? Will you take care of the documents? If you saw someone coming to carry the documents, what will you do? You will stop the person. The Bible says, guard your heart. We are guarding land. We are guarding gold. We are guarding ATM. Look, you, you guard your ATM by getting a card for it. You now put it inside a bag. And the Bible says, guard your heart. And that's the one you leave it carelessly. Guard your heart with all diligence. We have guarded ATM. We have guarded land that we came and met and we'll go and live. We have guarded houses. We have guarded the little tea and bread that are around and made noise. We have guarded cars. We built a garage for car and left your heart exposed. You see the wisdom of that is of this earth that comes to naught. Please say I will guard my heart. Guarding your heart doesn't mean to fight people. But to mark people who have a track record of killing your faith. They just see you rejoicing. They say, why the joy? Say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say, I, I'm a Christian too. You better be real. That thing looks like an emotional, sociological statement. But the name is, is a faith killer statement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sam. Number three, the last key. You want to command signs and wonders this year practice praise and thanksgiving mm. thanksgiving everybody say thanksgiving i am learning many strange things about this dimension of god that is humbling me with all humility these are revelations that god has revealed to me 
but I am learning in fresh ways the power of praise and the power of thanksgiving and the power of living a thankful life thanksgiving and living a thankful life are two different things thanksgiving is an event you can dance in church carry your handkerchief and not be thankful i have a special teaching on thanksgiving a little teaser to it thanksgiving your communication of thanks must match the blessing given the goal of thanksgiving is to to create an impression in in the giver that you understand the gravity of the sacrifice involved in giving that gift there are times that saying thank you is not thanksgiving it's too small for that kind of result if i give you 10 naira you say thank you i give you ten thousand, you say thank you i give you hundred thousand, you say thank you i give you one million you say thank you i give you 10 million you say thank you from 100 naira to 1 million you are ungrateful that thank you was only valid for 10 naira you were supposed to make the other givings weightier in your communication of thanks so many people just say god thanks i forgot to tell you the other day look at how you saved me and god said that's the is that the way you cried is that how you cried did you just cry casually you cried as if your life will finish and i opened you a door and look how casual you are please practice a life not a moment of thanksgiving feel a major portion of your prayer with thanksgiving lord i thank you are you not the one who has delivered me from my enemies there are many who would have prayed that i didn't see this year but lord in their presence you have honored me lord i thank you lord i thank you for the other day i was coming and a bike almost hit my car i thank you and god says you are doing this to me he said god i've not even finished wait he said what about your needs he said, god, i know you are faithful just allow me thank you and god says you don't need to ask again your thanksgiving has multiplied your result please learn to be thankful it is something that i have embraced thanksgiving complaining and murmuring all through scripture attracted the wrath of god not satan when people murmured before god it was a sign of ingratitude he punished them god you gave me bread wouldn't i have blue band there and god would say you are a wicked servant i didn't just give you tea i gave you bread just because there's no blue band you are shouting as if you are you are hungry say god will i continue to eat bread like that is it not you that said the part of the justice as a shining light and god says look at your ungrateful heart what happens if i give you a bakery it means you will leave me and say god <laughs> this was all what it was about now that i have a bakery it's enough to feed me live a thankful life don't thank god generally be specific count your blessing name them not 10 by 10 one by one lord you gave me five children no cs thank you how is it such a big thing lord thank you lord it was just day before yesterday i didn't have food to eat and today i even had to fetch two tears and give someone because a stranger i did not know just said you assigned him somebody will tell you god sent me you won't turn back to the god and say thank you you told the messenger thank you and god that sent the person you left him like that till you have a need hey god the other day how did i it escaped my mind and god said what was there what was there that it escaped your mind thank him he gives you 10 naira say thank you make it a big deal god will say all these dances for 10 naira i said yes so lord i'm dancing some of you are dancing not because you are truly grateful you are dancing because you have been taught is a key to multiplication so you really hate god it's just that you are just doing it oh god where is my daily bread opposed to say when you dance your way and you are done and god is saying please stop dancing don't make me a fool i'm not an idol i'm not a cow somewhere that they lifted up i am god all by myself let your gratitude be genuine that you say lord i know in this process there is a blessing but whether or not there is a blessing i thank you say i will be thankful 
be thankful to God and be thankful to men. Some of us, we close the door of favor by ourselves because of ingratitude. Please take this issue of gratitude seriously. Jesus healed 10 people. He was passing and healed 10 people. He stayed there waiting to see who will come back. The 10 people were healed and they ran away. And one person said, mm -mm, we were supposed to die there unclean. But this one that God has done, this one will return. And he said, were there not 10 of you? Where are the others? Take out time. If you can cry for problems, you should take out time to be lavish about Thanksgiving. As a lifestyle, not just when it comes as an instruction here. Praise God and thank him. I live my entire life saying, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I am grateful. Not because of what he has done. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for the workers. Thank you for my life. Thank you for your word all through this year. Second Chronicles 20 verse 22. You can just write that as the scripture there. They began to sing and to thank the Lord. And to say, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever and god began to set ambushment we have emphasized this that praise is powerful but it must be from the heart that's what makes it perfected praise ordained praise there is praise that is anointed it's called perfected praise there is praise that is rubbish it's just it's just selfishness in one minute while you are seated can you tell god thank you Let's just take a minute or two to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you enter 2000, you enter 2018 grumbling. Someone died December 31st, but you enter 2018 grumbling as if the power is your own. Abba, let's be grateful. Some of you, you have been grateful, but not enough to match the goodness of God in your life. Don't act as if it's a right. Thank you, Jesus. Learn gratitude to God and to men. Be lavish about gratitude. Take note of things that people do for you that you cannot do for yourself. Be very meticulous about it. Say, I'm not that kind of person. Learn it. You will close all kinds of doors being ungrateful. You can earn a living through gratitude. You can literally live off gratitude. Gratitude is a stream of income. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Lord, you gave me a relationship and work out. Thank him. At least he gave you one. At least a guy was able to come into your life. Lord, I thank you. I have not built the house yet, but you gave me land. I thank you. Lord, I've not graduated yet, but at least I'm still a student. Thank you. We live in a society of gross ingratitude. Just take a minute and say thank you. How about some of you who have seen the anointing in your life in unusual ways? Two years ago, you were not like this. But look what God has done in your life. Mighty dimensions of revelation. Mighty dimensions of the anointing. Now they invite you everywhere to be a blessing. Men have discerned the hand of God upon your life. It's a reason to say thank you. Don't just say I'm a man of God. Don't just say I'm a woman of God. Don't just say I'm a prayer warrior. How about people that God changed their financial status? No connection. No godfather, no godmother. I'm showing you why many of us do not see the signs of God in our lives. When you thank God, it looks like it's a burden to you. Jesus, thank you. How many graduates thank God? They complain about no job. They run their mouth from morning till night. Oh God, won't you give me a job? Have you ever carried your certificate to put it on the ground and roll over it and say, Lord, thank you, oh I wrote jam 10 times. It's, it's, a, it's a dream today that without any sponsor, I may graduate. We live in a generation that complains. 
Lord, I have a church of only 30 members. But you have people who have discerned your grace and they are listening to you. Lord, I don't have a job. Won't you change my story? You've not got a job for one year and you've not begged. Who has been the supplier of that? There are workers who have been on strike. There are workers whose salaries have not been paid for six months. In other states, some one year. Yet God has sustained them. And they don't have any other extra stream of income. It's been the Lord's doing. Make sure it is marvelous in your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. These three keys are the keys that God gave me. That if we will focus on being intimate with Him and believe Him enough to release our faith, and to back it up with a life that is full of praise and thanksgiving then brothers and sisters you are ready to see the outstretched arm of god his strange wonders in the midst of people there are battles this year that you will not need to fight mm -mm. this is i believe with all my heart that this is one of those years that the lord will say uh -uh. this battle is not your own allow me the egyptians you see today they are greater than you you have already done your own battle by worshiping me leave me to fight them that god will take you out of the battlefront and stand there and ask the enemy that has oppressed your family face me now you they may not have the strength in themselves let me give you 11 instructions for this year and then we'll round up please write down these instructions and believe them you don't have anything to write type it in your phone men prosper in the kingdom on the strength of instructions he says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life to those who find them men rise in this kingdom through instructions transgressors are violators of instructions number one very quickly in this year 2018 make up your mind to love and seek the lord passionately instruction number one love and seek the lord passionately I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God prioritize God in your life this year prioritize God some of you I congratulate you at least you are better than the way you used to be but you need to do more you need to move closer to God pray for me oh as you are going to church no love and seek the Lord passionately number two serve the lord this year wholeheartedly serve the lord wholeheartedly you are a worker in this ministry this is the time for you to pour your heart doesn't matter what department you are not a worker in this ministry find a department and commit yourself commit yourself serve the lord exodus 23 verse 25 Exodus 23. I'm just running the instructions, but I just felt like giving you a scripture of this. It says, If they obey and serve me, if you shall obey and serve the Lord your God, he shall do what? Bless thy bread, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. When you read 26, let's read 26. It says that there shall nothing cast a young nor be barren in the land. The number of your days I will fulfill. Serve God wholeheartedly. Genuinely. Genuinely. Coming to church is not serving God. Walking in the house of God is serving God. Number three. 
be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus read it with me one to read and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament uh-huh and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore brothers and sisters your heart must be passionate about bringing people to Jesus bringing people to Jesus is more than just winning souls you are going to church you don't go alone are we together there's someone in your neighborhood after evangelizing to him another person will come while you are talking say somebody has come say it doesn't matter I can continue from where he stopped let your life bring somebody to Jesus someone sits down and he tells you I look at the way my life is I say well uh, there's prayer meeting going on here on Tuesday once in a while you can go no that's not evangelism that's suggestion evangelism is my brother Jesus Christ is able to help you look at what he made out of my life and you talk to the person and at the end of it you ask the person do you mind that I pray and lead you to Jesus Christ some of you as I'm saying it you are even shocked because you have not said this thing in years it's not part of your dictionary a profitable believer is one who brings harvest of souls an establishment of the same Don't leave people and drag yourself you are coming for miracle service you are coming alone your entire loved ones are languishing in in trouble be be a true evangelist do the work of an evangelist you know a woman around your neighborhood she has been barren madam please i don't have transport no problem i will pay your transport that's evangelism hallelujah let's be serious about leading men to jesus can i tell you the truth all that we do in this life will end one day i hear what i'm saying anybody that leaves this earth without nobody goes to hell for sinning everybody goes to hell for rejecting jesus that is what takes people to hell it is not sin that takes people to hell it is they are rejecting jesus the propitiation the substitute so don't sit down some of us our wives are not saved our husbands are not saved this is the year to vet everyone's salvation start with your household don't sit down and say it doesn't matter when I hear that someone has gone to be with the Lord, the first thing I ask is, did he die in Christ? If he died in Christ, I just say, ah, then the only thing we are going to miss is just the physical fellowship. But brothers and sisters, let me be sincere with you. If you die without Christ, you will never, 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 never be connected to Jesus again. As far as the Bible reveals to us. It matters that we make sure people, we give people business deals, wonderful. We give them jobs. I want you to preach. Oh. Use everything. Use your looks to preach. Hello? Use your credit to preach. Use your life. Don't say me, I'm not a woman of God. I will keep sowing in Koinonia. Please. The urgency. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is gradually fading in the area of conscious evangelism. I know we make altar calls in church but that personal life we pray for people we intercede for people but we watch people they are not born again we don't care we call it being friendly start with those under your roof especially for those of us who have any form of influence nobody should be under my roof and not serve my God no sir 
don't say we don't want to offend anybody it doesn't mean you just meet somebody especially a non-christian and start harassing them no you can start by showing them the love of god it doesn't have to be one day preaching intercede for your loved ones many people drop prayer requests here car house wife husband they never write the names of souls and say father by next miracle service let this my father meet jesus number four remain joyful and thankful fourth instruction quickly we have 11 of them remain joyful and thankful this is the year that you should never allow anything kill your joy not bad report not anything make up your mind to be joyful regardless of what happens remain joyful don't allow your joy to be perturbed by circumstances remain unbending in your joy get up in the morning you sing praises unto god lord i love you while you are doing that immediately you get an alert the interview went and were sorry to announce to you that you didn't get the job lord is all right i know that this is painful but i thank you the admission list first list came out i even saw in my dream that i got admission now physically there's no admission and then you are you cry because you are a human being jesus wept but in the midst of the cry find a song of merriment number number what be strong in faith fifth instruction be strong in faith reject fear reject fear write it be strong in faith dash reject fear the fear of evil report the fear of death the fear of not having a man to marry you the fear of not having a woman to marry you hello it's amazing how people walk with all these kinds of fear brothers the fear of not being established reject it sisters the fear of marrying a poor man or some of these nonsense fears that lead people to do demonic things reject it the fear of your church remaining at the same level the fear of being destroyed the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject i know that all around the nation and around africa there are all kinds of upheavals happening reject fear reject fear reject fear for god has not given me and you the spirit of fear but he has given us the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind please reject fear be strong in faith number six this year 2018 be visionary and focused get serious with your life it's an instruction write it down be visionary and focused for god's sake get serious with your life let this be the year that children become adults let this be the year that naive people grow up in their minds brothers let this be the year that childishness is replaced with a life of diligence and discipline and maturity my bible says when i was a child i thought like a child many of us have, are still calling ourselves children give yourself an orientation this year i will no longer behave like a child brothers sisters everybody behave is that true especially for those trusting god to settle down this year your life must show you are ready hello hold on mike your life must show you are what ready don't call into your life blessings you have not been equipped to receive and maintain don't call into your life blessings you are not ready to equip and maintain sister if you are saying 2018 is my year of marital settlement please do the needful be disciplined jumping around comes to an end hopping around people's houses to gossip comes to an end why you are preparing to be a good wife 
Don't see a child fall and you walk and you are trying to cut walk. No, you are acting like a girlfriend. You act like a wife. Correct? Don't worry, we have a series. Oh, I mean, you are in for a buffet this year. Praise the Lord. And our brothers too. Balance. 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 I love God, but I'm suffering. Balance. This is the year we will access wisdom from the throne to do well in all things. Balance. Praying in tongues and you are not doing anything about taking care of your family. There are many brothers that are not ready to settle down. Being old in age is not the requirement for settling down. It is the ability to understand the cost implication of life. Hallelujah. So you have to be visionary and focused. Go and get a notebook. There are some of us, get more than a notebook. Get a room. Get a room. Get out of your friend's room and find your room. Trust God for grace. Release your faith. Gather some money and get a room of your own. Where will I get mattress? Start with a bed sheet on the ground. Learn the honor of diligence. All this waiting for a job to bail you out is the thing that sponsors carelessness. The power of God is released when you get out. Get out! There are young people that should pack out of their parents' house this year. And there are parents that should call the young people and say, Look, um, I had the message apostle preached and I love you with all my heart. I love you too much to leave you in this house. Go. Ah, Daddy, what if I die? Go and die there. Go. I'm, I'm, jo I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. Then certain levels of decorum will come. Then once it is seven, you will go back home. You are learning to be a good father. It's because there is a friend whose room you are staying and they are cooking for you. That's why you can return back home 11 o'clock with no reason. You are, that is already an atmosphere for unfaithfulness. You have a room, you learn maintenance, you can lock your room. The day you forget and they steal your rechargeable, you have learned. You have learned responsibility through the things you have suffered. And that is a good lesson because now it will help you to be serious. There are too many children, old children, believing that just because age is going, they are wise. We have to sit down. Say, I will be focused. In the name of Jesus. So be visionary, be focused. You are a pastor, settle down. What has God called me to do? Not I'm an apostle today, I'm an evangelist tomorrow. I think briefly prophetic came on me. What, what are you to the body? Settle down. You are a businessman. What do you do? I do everything. No, sir, you will fail. Be focused. Be focused. Get a clear direction for your life. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. You can't do everything. Ladies, calm down. Settle down. This is the direction my life is taking. Oh, I'm going to be serious. Oh, this is what I'm going to do with my life. I'm a graduate now. I've not, am I working or am I doing business? Or am I doing both? Okay, what am I doing? I need to be focused. I need to buy a book and be serious. Oh, I notice that every time money comes, I waste it with friends. We don't drink, we don't smoke, but we waste money. It's still sin. Are we together? Right now, when money comes, I notice I'm a worker in Koinonia. Instead of wasting money, let me buy one suit. And now start looking like a gentleman. The day your glory comes, you don't have the attire for it. Number seven. In this year, 2018, spend time building your spirit man and your mind. Spend time, invest, in fact, that's really the word. Invest time building your spirit man and your mind. Buy clothes, look good. But brothers and sisters, only buy clothes and look good when your spirit is alive and your mind is alive. Packaging without content should live your life this year. All this spending hilarious money to buy things and prove things that are not in your spirit and not in your mind. Make sure that a life, a fake life, leaves you this year. Build your spirit, man. As a woman, build your spirit, man. As a man, build your spirit, man. 
through prayers the study of the word and relevant materials let me tell you where many of us have stopped prayers and bible bible is not the word it contains the word there are other materials that contain the word explained to be relevant to your future don't just carry bible and read any part of it and think you are growing no you need books that explain things to you get books get videos some of you may need to budget for a laptop this year you don't have a television yet budget for a laptop you can sell two or three of your shoes and buy a laptop shoes that don't bring anything let's let's be serious invest in your spirit let me tell you what will happen many people who are used to packaging will laugh at you but i guarantee you your spirit and your mind like power twins will return everything you are paying for now a thousand times number what number eight pay attention to your health and your physical well-being please write it down when god gave me this word i repented a thousand times before god before even jotting it down pay attention to your health and your physical well-being you can't pay attention to your spirit pay attention to your mind and the body that will keep them here you are careless with it that means you are ready to exit so pay attention to your health paying attention to your health is not buying hilariously expensive creams that are beyond your power now that's not paying attention to your health you can start at whatever level you have you are now instead of buying all kinds of things you can buy fruits natural things correct yes instead of taking five coca-cola in a day buy carrots buy apple watermelon meet the welfare after the service for any information that can help you on your health let's let's walk as if we want to live long exercise truly speaking exercise god challenged me on these things and i will tell you as he did for me exercise take advantage of your life your health work on it believers are careless with their health we allow all kinds of sicknesses come you are feeling sharp pains around your body i'm a man of faith but what is wrong with looking at someone and say oh there's a sharp pain no just to verify okay this and that oh we notice wow um we found out that there's something there. okay so this is what the enemy wants to put in my body let's work together but many believers will go on and be talking things that can be managed at infancy now later gets to a complicated case and they deny men of god sleep with disturbance because of something that wisdom could manage please take your health seriously you know when you are sick god gave us brains you know your body before and during sickness something is wrong deal with it take care of your body take care of your health number number nine press for financial freedom press for financial freedom pay attention to the details that will empower you i beg you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god do not allow anybody trivialize to your life the relevance of being financially free if it is god you want to serve you want to have time for god your family and your destiny press for financial freedom we have a lot of teachings on that wise that will come this year there already are teachings get financial dominion get the wealthy place other auxiliary teachings success systems the gift of men activating seasons of favor activating seasons of breakthrough settle down with it i understand the media is working on a dedicated web page to arrange some of the sermons topically so that it's easy they make it easy 
if you are looking for topics on finances there are all the messages there so you can download them believers poverty will distract us from living a fruitful life i repeat poverty will distract us lack will distract us living from hand to mouth will never allow us grow spiritually and live a life of health and soundness depression is eating up christians tongue-talking christians because they have to worry about where tea and bread will come from by the grace of god god has empowered us as leaders in this ministry with enough intelligence to be able to contribute and bring supply i am a balanced man of god i don't believe in people getting anointed and healing the sick and remaining poor why choose when everything is, the, is in the same table it is the life of god please and please especially our dear brothers let us trust god to press towards financial freedom don't say i'm too young don't say God will make a way. Just like a callous, irresponsible statement. Let's settle down and trust God to work our salvation, financially speaking, in fear and trembling. You don't work out your finances by hustling. This is the year when hustlers will pay for it. Doing everything in the strength of the flesh. No, thou shalt hear a voice from behind. The secret to financial prosperity is not business. I've told you, the secret to financial prosperity is not a job. The secret to financial prosperity is understanding. Understanding. That is the first thing you seek. Understanding first. Getting a job and doing business is giving your understanding a physical expression to now deliver the results. There are many people doing business, getting jobs with no understanding. We live in an economy that many of us do not understand God's financial system. And we are paying for it dearly. Please press for financial freedom this year. Start with the teachings. Listen to them again and again. The work has been done for many of us. If you pay attention to Koinonia's teachings on finances, if that's the only thing you study alone, I guarantee you, you'll be successful. Number 10. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Brothers and sisters, this is the year when all black books must be torn into pieces. Say amen. amen. The, the books that we have allowed the devil to give us, all this compendium of enemies, all this attitude of cynicism, love and peace is therapeutic. This should be the year for intentional reconciliation. It will be costly to spend your life and your time being at loggerheads with people be having love and peace will require you learning how to speak to men with honor there are many auxiliary additions to it it does not mean that you just live in love and peace there are some of us your current mindset does not have provision for peace because the way you communicate is pungent and destructive we must learn to culture our words through understanding it is part of the press for living a life walking in love and peace with all men don't look down on anybody don't criticize anybody and say your father is this you people are poor you people are rich you are this tribe you are that tribe uh -uh. i am your senior in secondary school you are my junior in have mutual respect one for another don't be the one receiving all the respect and having people bowing to you and you're not reciprocating. Living in love and peace will require you learning people's skills. Understanding the psychological composition of living with people. Don't run somebody down and tear somebody down and think it does not matter. You look at a lady and insult her, lambast her from head to toe and then expect that she would not be at loggerheads jealousy what of gossiping hopping from place to place to talk about people bringing into your discussion matters of people that are not your concern all these things must be well edited this year so that we can live in love and peace and then mark people 
mark their areas of vulnerability and create a system to relate with them without being harmed by their vulnerability there are people who will never stop gossiping so you learn when best to see them greet them in church don't go to their house because it's obvious that going to their house is going to create a platform for gossiping let the meeting place be church and church alone are we together finally love the body of christ the last instruction i will give you for this year genuinely love the body of christ never criticize never castigate any man of god never castigate any ministry don't join bloggers to tear down men of god doesn't mean that men of god and ministries are perfect we all are not perfect but then you cannot sow that seed of being the one to be destroying a man's destiny and a man's church a man's ministry whether it was your former church your present church your former pastor your present pastor koinonia any church a church in nigeria a church in diaspora it doesn't matter where always see the light in the church in spite of the weakness of the body christ is still in the midst of her let this be the year there is a sin that many believers are committing it's called the sin of fighting against the body if nobody has told you is sin i want you to know that it is sin fighting the body of christ through ill-spoken words fighting a man's church fighting a man's whatever getting down intentionally to destroy the work of god because of poor and pungent communications is sin and it's a very strange kind of sin because it brings almost instant consequences for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick and for this cause many do sleep what is their sin not discerning the body hallelujah ladies and gentlemen god has announced to us that this is a year of signs and wonders i believe it and i know that you believe it and we are going to pray and speak this into our lives there are many developments that have happened in the ministry i'm going to be announcing them shortly but then i want us to rise up on our feet now and we are going to pray this prophetic word into our lives you have heard the word you have heard the instructions that have come from the word i want you to open your notebook i'm going to give you five minutes open your notebook and pray these 11 instructions into your life forget about the signs and wonders it will be the result of this open the notebooks one by one and look at it and cry to the god of heaven go ahead and pray pray it pray it into your life pray it into your life don't be silent brothers and sisters pray it into your life I receive grace to love and seek the Lord. Shabakato bakarato sadabaliakata. Intimacy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. I receive grace for intimacy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. Pray those 11 things into your heart. Be childlike enough and pray them and watch the God of heaven arise for you. You have five minutes, prophesy them into your life. Lord, I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I decree and declare that this year I am visionary. I am focused. I am visionary. I am focused. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I spend time building my spirit man. Go ahead and pray. I spend time building my mind. Sabra 
I pay attention to my health. I pay attention to my physical well-being. I shall not die. I live long and I do the things that make for long life. In the name of Jesus, I pay attention to my health. I press for financial freedom. I reject poverty. I reject lack. I reject financial weakness. In the name of Jesus, God has made all praise about to me. So that I have been all sufficiency in all things. That I am bound unto all good works. In the name of Jesus I decree. The Bible says declare that he might be justified. Declare it in prayer. I walk in love. I'm at peace with all men. No enmity. No jealousy. No backbiting. No tearing down another. In the name of Jesus. This is the year when my life will lift everyone up. This is the year when my words will lift everyone up. Not destroying the destinies of men. I love the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. I love the body of Christ. I am part of the body of Christ. I honor the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I like you to declare and say, Father, no battle this year will bring me down to the ground. Lift your voice and declare. Victorious all through from January to December. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My life becomes a sign and a wonder. No weapon fashion against me will prosper. No tongue rising up against me will succeed. When men say there is a casting down, my declaration is that there is a lifting up. Pray. Pray. No defeat, no defeat, victorious by the blood of Jesus. No defeat, no defeat, no defeat, no defeat. My year of signs and wonders, no defeat in any area of life. In the name of Jesus, no defeat. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points very quickly. Hallelujah. I like us as a family to pray for one sign to start up the year. Lord, strange favor. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, let that be the sign. We agree with you, oh God, as a ministry. Give us the sign. The first sign for the year. Undeniable favor. Favor with men. Favor with systems. Favor with institutions. Favor with governmental personalities. Let favor bring us revelations from the realm of the spirit. Let favor bring us strange dimensions of influence. Let it be a sign and a token, O oh God, that will follow every one koinonia member all through this year. We declare favor. We prophesy favor. We release favor. We declare favor. We prophesy favor. We release favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. That the God of suddenlies 
that arises overnight listen i want us to pray for a quick walk not just favor lord arise a quick walk in the lives of people lift your voice and pray god of suddenly god of suddenly he says suddenly there was a sound suddenly an emergence suddenly a job suddenly an admission sudden marriage sudden children sudden lifting sudden anointing lord compress time compress time give your people speed we invoke you the god of suddenly arise oh god in this year of signs and wonders let it not be according to time let it be according to your power let it not be according to time let it be according to your power come on invoke the god of the suddenly arise for me oh god my helper ebenezer arise wipe the tears of those that cry silence the lips of mockers suddenly let the lifting come it's called a year of signs and wonders lord defy the laws of nature defy the laws of nature arise for people change their levels spiritually change their levels financially don't be tired we are praying restore honor to your people restore glory to your people oh god i cry to you arise listen we're rounding up look at me there is the natural progression of life are we together but bible says a mystery can happen when the sower and the reaper as you are sowing you are receiving harvest that time can actually be removed in an equation it's not ungodly god leaves time to teach us wisdom but when we have gotten the wisdom he can take away the time equation and say look i'm giving you speed there are things in people's lives that if it is according to time they may never do much is that true time a woman who has been barren for eight years does not need one one child when god gives her triplets once he has given her eight years this is speed are we together there are people who graduated 20 years ago they have not gotten a job if you get a job of forty thousand, please tell me in how many years will you buy cement you need speed brothers and sisters there is a name god is called he's called the god of the suddenness i don't know if you believe this thing or that a man can sleep in the prison and by the next day be a prime minister that a nation can be dying of recession and by the next day food goes almost for nothing is that true that apostles can be timidly hiding in the upper room and by the next day they are filled with power moving have you not heard that a nation can give birth in one day a woman birth is supposed to be nine months but god said i can do something that will make a nation give birth in one day we are still going to pray this prayer and say lord bring speed to my life be the god of the suddenly settle the issues in my life so that i can have time to serve you pray settle my life oh god maritally settle my life oh god financially settle my life oh god i want to have the time to serve you lord let the promotion come speedily let the spiritual dimension come speedily lord let the gift be at work in my life speedily let that level of anointing come to my life speedily
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give me a few seconds. I want you to make an announcement to principalities and powers that this is not the year for dragging. It's a year when you match things and move. Look, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Elijah did not meet any obstacle on the way. Listen, I'd like you to release your faith with someone near you and challenge every devil that has been programmed to obstruct your work. Satan has a mysterious way of keeping people at a position. Challenge every power. Challenge every devil. Lord, I declare no obstacle on my way. God of Jeshurun, arise. Go before me like a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire consuming everything that is not of God. Yokes from darkness, the scourging bones of men, divinations, manipulations in the dark world. I decree and declare the God that is as a pillar of fire is against you. Is against you. My God is a consuming fire. My God is a consuming fire. Burn everything that stands to delay your purposes in my life. Go ahead and pray. This is for your glory, your God. Everything. It has never happened in my family. I'm the first to do it in this year. My life will be a sign and a wonder. For you to be glorified. For you to be lifted. All I want is for you. For you to be glorified. For you to be lifted. All I want is for you. For you to be glorified. For you to be lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. God knows the reason why he made a miracle service immediately after the next the, after the first service next week is miracle service and i believe god did it intentionally because i'm trusting god that we will receive something by next week truly speaking that will project people in it's not all about just deliverance this is impartation there is something you need to receive for the journey that you will run like Elijah and no devil will be able to stand you. Hallelujah. Everyone keeps standing. Our time is gone. We've spoken about souls. There are people here, overflow one, two, three, wherever you are. You started this year not even knowing you will leave and God kept you. There are people who came here by invitation. Others may have been here in Koinonia. You've seen what God has done. You've seen what God does all the time. Listen carefully. Tonight I want to give you an invitation. No cajoling, no saying nothing. You've heard the word of God. There are people who are saying, man of God, truly speaking, I cannot start this year without a genuine decision for Jesus. There are others who are saying, man of God, I gave my life to Christ, but right now I cannot say that I'm in Christ and I want to make it right with God now. Overflow 1 and 2, you can come in. Overflow, okay, overflow 1 and 3. Overflow 2, you can walk to the projector stand outside. Overflow 3, walk to your projector stand. You are here giving your life to Christ or rededicating your life. Our time is gone. Wherever you are, boldly make your way to the front now. Or the various projector screens that you have. Quickly, let's give Jesus praise. Someone has to be coming out. There's got to be someone that Jesus is talking to. Please clear the way for them if there are people coming. 
God bless you. Let's appreciate them. They are coming. Don't wait for anybody to be the first. Be the first. God bless you. God bless you. Those outside, celebrate those who are coming out in your various projectors. Those online, you are following us from any nation of the world. It doesn't matter. I want you to take God seriously this year. We've spoken about intimacy and encounter. God bless you. Keep coming. Apostle, I think I gave my life to Christ. I'm not very sure. Join them. Join them. Join them. There is something called the assurance of salvation. Join them very quickly. Hallelujah. If there are people still coming, okay, please coordinate them. Overflow one, two, three, and all the other overflows. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Please let me have your attention, especially for those at the projectors. Just pay attention to your screen. I really want to appreciate all of you for making this decision. Some of you are making a decision for the first time. Some of you are rededicating your life to Jesus. The devil is a liar this year. God has declared that it's a year of signs and wonders and what a joy it is to lead you to Jesus Christ. Just make this genuine. It's not a poem we are reciting. Lift your right hand and say this after me very genuinely. Those online who are rededicating their lives to Jesus or giving their lives to Jesus, join us in this prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I have heard your word I declare that you are Lord of my life I declare that you are my Savior I hand over my life to you and I receive your life in return the life of God into my spirit I declare that from tonight I am free from condemnation from sin from the flesh and from the power of satan i'm a child of god the grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in jesus name keep your hands lifted lord jesus i stretch my hands to these ones in front and by extension all those connecting here and online i pray in the name of your dear son that you will not only receive these ones but the grace to live victorious christian lives be granted them in jesus name i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven and that you begin a new walk with the lord in the name of jesus i declare that it will be for you forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you so much for this decision i'd like you to follow um someone waving her hands there's a lady waving her hands there I'd like you to just follow her all of you this way just follow her and um, there will be a group of people who will talk to you hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.